Hi, I'm Dana. I don't know if this video is going to be a disaster because I'm filming it in the park, but it is. The phone's already slipping. Apologies. I think this is the angle, apparently. I've left the house for something other than the corner shop or Asda for the first time since I moved. Don't want to go home yet, so we're filming out here, even though I keep having bugs crawling on me. And I already keep having a thing of feeling like bugs are crawling on me while I'm in my house, so it's actually really not fun. But I don't want to go home yet, so this is what we're doing. I've got the tail end of like some sort of cold, but I don't think it's like actually like an illness cold. I think it's a burnout, not been eating properly, my body's a bit fucked kind of cold. But all the same, I'm still concerned that it is contagious. So I didn't go to church because, quite frankly, I hang out with a whole bunch of old people and I don't want to be the one that does them in. And it's the thing of, like, it's taken me all this effort and it feels like a big deal to have left the house. And I've just come and sat somewhere that's completely away from people because I have no energy and I can't be fucked with anything. You know, I may as well have not actually bothered leaving the house. I don't feel any better. I'm not having a good time. Whereas before I was anxious about leaving the house, now I'm just anxious about going back to the house. And like this feels like I'm giving some degree of an update, but it's a case of like I have nothing to update you on. So other than posting a couple of videos which took up like all of my energy, I've been waking up, scooping my cat's litter, making myself a cuppa, and getting back into bed to watch stuff. I finished all three sort of seasons of Board Church in three days and I've started one night again because I'm just I just want to watch stuff with Jodie Whittaker in. And it's it's one of those things where I'd say it makes me feel better, but it doesn't even actually make me feel better. It just passes the hours so that I'm not just sat there thinking about how shitty I feel. I think I've cooked myself about two or three meals since moving. And otherwise it's been like someone else cooking for me or just ordering takeout. Because I don't I don't even have the energy to decide what I want to eat. Like literally the last time I ordered myself food, I used the chat bot thing of Jesus Christ to ask what I should eat. Because I was like, I, I don't even have the mental energy to decide what food to eat right now. I don't have physical energy to do things. I don't have the mental energy to like even make a decision or do things. I just like, I have nothing. Like I was very much running on empty to be able to like get my shit together to move. And now that I have moved and it's still just really hard, I don't have the energy left to deal with any of it. Like I'm just so burnt out and just like, I don't have it. And it's the thing of like, I've only just moved in. I don't really want to like, I have unpacked to be fair, but I don't want to like put stuff up on my walls and make it properly at home because the contract's only six months, so I'm going to move in six months and then I'm just going to have to take it down, fall down and start all over again with no idea where I'm moving to or how I'm affording to move or like any of that and it's just, you know, like I know it's a while away and I don't really technically have to think about it yet. I don't have the energy to deal with it, never mind consider how I'm then also getting out of it. It's especially frustrating because I feel like all of my like processing ability just leaves me when I'm in any sort of like burnout and this is I'd say this is probably like the most severe burnout I've had since I dropped out of college the first time and I it's one of those things where I do feel like I recovered from that but I also like I wasn't the same again after it and I feel like the same thing's happening now and like after this I'm just not going to be the same type of person that I was and I don't like that and it weirds me out but I feel just so like empty of everything honestly like I'm having to mostly just rewatch things that I've already seen, because like, like I watched Broad Church and I've watched the first, I watched the first season a bit a while ago, like when it first came out, because David Tennant, Eve Miles were in it, and like I said, I've been watching stuff with Jodie Whittaker in, because that's better than not watching things with Jodie Whittaker in. So I I watched it, but like there's a whole bunch of bits where I'm just like, what happened there? Like sorry, like who was who did what? Like I was on like episode seven before I realised that Joe Miller and the other bald man aren't the same man like I just can't really process any new information of any sort even a fucking silly little tv show I've already watched half of before like I was I was thinking of like trying to cheer myself up by doing a little cinema trip to see long legs and I was like I'm not gonna know what's fucking going on I'm not gonna know what's happening and I think being sat in a dark room surrounded by people after having to go through town there was loads of people I think that I'll just sit there and dissociate and not even like remember the movie and that's been happening a whole bunch. I've sat there thinking that I'm watching it and then I'm like, I have to rewatch literally this entire episode because I have no idea what just fucking happened. And I'm scared of like fucking talking to people or going out and doing things because I feel like I'm just not going to remember what the fuck just went down, you know? Like things that happened to me like literally like three hours ago feel like they happened like three months ago and I can barely remember what's going on. And I don't know what I'm doing next. And it's all just like so much fucking effort. Like I really genuinely wish that I hadn't gone out today because as much as it's like, yeah, you've gotten dressed and you left the house, it's like I haven't showered in like four days. And while I showered, it's the first time I'd wash my hair in like three weeks, four weeks. And now that I'm here, I know that my next step's realistically to go home, but I'm like, 
the energy that it takes to actually decide that's what I'm actually doing and do it is so much. And I know that a good amount of it's that I've moved and my routine's gone, but I just, I don't have the energy to reform a new routine. And as much as I know it might help, I also like, what if it doesn't and I still feel like this? And even if it does, I so literally don't have the energy to do it. You know, and it, I think that's one of the things that's really pissed off therapists with me in the past is that I'm quite often like, yeah, I know what I need to do. I just have none of like the skills, energy or ability to actually do what I need to do. Started sleeping funny as well. Like I've always been someone that like, I might struggle to get to sleep, but once I'm asleep, I'm dead to the fucking world until the next morning. And now I'm doing shit where I'm sleeping from like 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. and then like 5 a.m. to 12 p.m. and shit like that. And just doing these like weird like, it's like they're a full sleep, but they're also not. And I'm doing multiple of them in like one day. And then I'm like also still like fucking exhausted again come 3 p.m. Like I feel like I'm only awake for like five hours at a time and then I sleep again. And that's never been me. I've never done that. It's really fucking weird. And I don't like it. And it really throws off like I wake up thinking it's a new fucking day and it's still the same day. And then I do the same thing again like four hours later. And it's just completely disoriented and it really throws me off. And I'm really struggling to like regulate in any way. And it's the thing of like, I would really like to just go on a really, really long walk. I'd like to just walk for like three hours, but planning a route and figuring out where I'm walking to and then actually doing it, like that's not happening anytime soon. You know, and it's when I've been like this before I knew I was autistic that I'd go to the GP and like talk it through and tell them how I'm feeling and tell them what I'm doing. And they'd be like, oh, you're clearly depressed. Take these antidepressants. I'd take these antidepressants for six weeks and be like, they've made me feel so much worse. And this time I know it's autistic burnout and I know that some like fucking tablets aren't gonna help but I don't know what the fuck it is I'm meant to do because I can't rest and relax and regather my strength or whatever. I just don't have like that opportunity in my life. But I don't know how else I'm meant to like deal with this. You know, like you can't rest and relax and shit when you're just anxious and overwhelmed all the time. It's not happening. And if I'm being really, really honest and vulnerable online, I have started like really, really often having thoughts of past coping mechanisms pop to mind. Sorry, someone was like going past again. Every time I like shit myself, it's just that like someone's going past. But yeah, some of the coping mechanisms that I used as like a teenager and in my younger years are ones that I'm thinking about a lot again. It's not so much that I'm considering it or that I want to or that I'm going to. It just pops into my fucking head and I'm like, oh, oh, that's a that's a thought, isn't it? That's that's a thought 14 year old Dana would have had, not 27 year old Dana, let's not do that. Like I hate that even in this video there's just massive pauses between me speaking that I'm gonna have to edit out. Cause talking is also so much energy, you know? Like I, I can feel my fucking energy like draining a little bit more with every word that I say and it's, it fucking sucks. Like I'm not the best speaker at the best of times and being at a point where it's just so much energy all the time to do anything like, it just feels so unfair, and I'm like, other people do not go through this. Like, other people do not... I don't mean, like, other autistic people, obviously, or, like, other neurodivergent people. But, like, the average person doesn't have to go through this and doesn't have to go through it over and over and over again every, like, fucking two years, you know? And especially when, like, the last few times it's happened, I adjusted my coping mechanisms to, you know, get my partner at the time to not be so abusive while I was trying to rest and relax, and it worked. And it took me a long time, but I was able to, like rest up a bit and deal with it and get over it to a point like I say I don't I do think every time it's happened it's changed me a bit and I am a bit different afterwards like permanently but I also like dealt with it and got over it but now I'm in a space where like I just don't see that fucking happening you know I don't I don't have the space to do that and I don't know what to do and I'm aware that this is a very fucking depressing and sad video and I'm quite sorry about it but the point of this channel is to largely be like honest and vulnerable you know not too vulnerable like I'm not trying to like be vulnerable but there is a level of that when you're talking about these kinds of feelings and shit on the internet i just feel very alone when i'm going through this kind of thing and it really feels like even when i speak to people about it they don't really understand or they don't really care or it's just not on their radar or whatever else so it is the type of thing that i really hope making a video like find someone else that feels like that and actually helps them out a little bit pigeons going mad yeah that's the video i don't have the energy for anymore and i also still have to edit so i do want to keep it kind of short i'm afraid I am, um, I'm posting video, I'm back to posting videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. I really didn't think this one was going to happen, so we'll see if it actually gets posted and it was posted on time. And it also gives me a purpose to actually go home and edit and post it, so we're going to do that next. What a great little plan I have. This is going so well. So you can follow me here if you want to see more content from me. You can also follow me over on TikTok and Instagram. I am usually a mo bit more like upbeat and alive in these videos. I Fingers crossed, I hope so, I try to be. But yeah, if you want to watch other stuff over there, 
if you want to contribute to me monetarily you can it's i've got ko-fi and patreon you don't have to there's no pressure but also like i'd love to be able to get myself a little sweet treat right now these pigeons man so yeah whoever you are wherever you are i hope you have a lovely morning evening day afternoon week month year and i will see you again in a couple of days